So after a while we had some uh, reasonable lip sync in uh, that it's pretty good, although you must remember in, in lip syncing that light travels faster than sound, so you should be three or four frames ahead of the actual sound. Uh, I don't know if I've actually achieved uh, that here, but the next part of the animation is head tilts. Now head tilts are very important, they give emphasis to the uh, words and establish an emotional tone. Uh, so I've got him looking around. He asks a question, so one assumes that the head will look around at the audience as I'm doing here. However, I must be careful not to... Um, the, the head movements can't be too smooth or too jerky, so you've got to be careful about those, uh, those keyframes. Although, you'll see I have a, a utility in the Rig Vader which enables you to do head movements naturally uh, by motion capture on screen, but that's for another tutorial. So after a while we have a reasonable set of head tilts and what I want to do especially is to emphasize a point around about frame 150. So what do you think? Women, a mistake? Or did he do it to us on purpose? Bad, but uh, it's a long way to go. Still see what I mean about the head. Now I'm making a pose bar for the upper face, the eyebrows and eyes, which is going to add more character still. And uh, what we're going to do is do some uh, winks and nods, blinks, eyebrow up, uh, down, angry, concerned, puzzled. So these are all these uh, poses we're going to put on the pose bar. So we've done with the visemes and now we're going to do uh, the eyebrow motion. And uh, there you'll see we've got eyebrow up, eyebrow down. So very quickly you establish and communicate a definite set of uh, semiotic stances, otherwise known as poses. So the first pose we're going to uh, use is going to be thoughtful. Uh, when he's asking the question, uh, is, was it a mistake? So we're going to need that sort of expression. And the other one is uh, perhaps alarm, surprise or irony. It's amazing what you can communicate with with eyes and eyebrows. And uh, it's a little too symmetric at the moment, but we're going to fix that up. Uh, make some little adjustments and weight the morphs a little. This is the, the great benefit of having this ability to weight the morphs and uh, brows coming down, squeeze, and the mid-brow down establishes, uh, can go from concern to anger very quickly. So you can see that uh, middle eyebrow furrow now is angry, so here we have, we've gone from con concern to alarm. Now, the lids, the lids are important too. The relationship of the pupil to the lid can express everything from drowsiness to boredom to uh, surprise and alarm. So the lids, uh, the lid manipulation is just as important as eyebrows and blinks. So he's also going to roll his eyes around the audience with the appropriate eyebrow lift. So it's another important uh, key pose which we're going to name. Uh, we'll do left and right versions. Nothing has to be perfectly symmetric and it's preferable if it isn't. So we've added that and now I think we're going to have four or five uh, in total and you'll be surprised just how much you can communicate with four or five uh, poses of eyebrows, eye movements and mid-brow down, things like that. Uh, a squint for uh, phony cogitation, which I call it. And the lids, the lids are important for disembodied ironic commentary. So here we are, we've got uh, I think five, what is it, five or six thoughtful, we've got uh, alarms, we have uh, angry, which is very important, and um, a couple of others, left raised and right raised. 
and uh, finally we have uh, sus a suspicion. So I think we've got enough, although we could keep going. This is just a short tutorial. So I think at this point we ask the questions. We need some form of ironic posture. Or thoughtful, thoughtful, yes. Perhaps you genuinely concerned and thoughtful about the rhetorical question. But pretty soon you can see the irony in the gesture. And the mouth, the mouth is going to move either side, indicating more playfulness, which is not a Jack Nicholson move, but I thought it was appropriate for this model. And looking to the left, which traditionally is to do with thought, and the lidded look, sort of half bored, but ironic again. Hmm, and concern, a uh, bit of a, um, I think I've used the sneer more for little. So already we have um, added to the words and we've got to the point where he's going to do that double take with the, with the head. So we need a bit of anger at this point. Well, that's concern, but now it's, it's anger. <laughs> mm. Definitely anger. We key that. And then with a big, or did he do it to us on purpose? We have a large movement. And, but by this time, we want the anger to go to uh, alarm. So we're going to get rid of the mid-brow furrow and become more relaxed. Uh, those muscles are going to be relaxed into alarm. So we have, so what do you think? Women a mistake? So what do you think? Women a mistake? Or did he do it to us on purpose? <laughs>